Hello friends, we will see a problem while configuring Apache Tomcat server in Eclipse. So while we are configuring, we can see that our server name, it will be disabled. It generally happens and we, if you try to reconfigure it later, sometimes on the project explorer, you have to right click on the project, go to the properties, the first uh, tab option resource, we can see the project location, the directory path of the workspace and go to the workspace folder. So once we go to the workspace folder, you can see dot metadata folder, go to dot metadata folder, then inside that plugins folder. So inside the plugins folder, you have to go to org eclipse core runtime folder, org eclipse core runtime and inside that settings folder. Now in this, there will be two files, the two files you have to delete. You have to permanently delete the first one uh, org eclipse jst server tomcat core prefs delete shift delete that one more file you have to delete org eclipse wst server core and prefs fold prefs file you have to delete org eclipse wst server core and prefs that file you have to delete. So after deleting both the file, you can close the workspace folder, go to Eclipse. And first, if you now open that uh, server settings configuration, it will not show the server name again. So you have to restart the Eclipse. So restart the Eclipse. After Eclipse restart, you have to go to server configuration. We are clicking on the server configuration option. Then go to the first Apache option. Then you have to go to Tomcat respective server where the server name was not visible. Now we can see Tomcat V8 version 8 server. Server name was previously not available. Now it is available. You can click on next and select Apache Tomcat file where you have saved in the folder and then click on next and finish. Now we can see that the Tomcat server has been configured properly. Start the Tomcat server. So the Tomcat server has started properly. Now we can go to the project, dynamic web project, and we can run by using the server. So it will get, the output will get displayed on the browser. So this way you can solve the error while configuring the Tomcat server, if the Tomcat server name is not getting displayed in the Eclipse setup, then we can solve this problem using these steps.